Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll demonstrate renaming objects such as tables, columns, constraints, indexes, and table spaces. This functionality has been around for a long time. Renaming columns and constraints was a new feature in Oracle 9i, and renaming table spaces was new in Oracle 10G. We create a table called Test1 with two columns, Col1 and Col2. We add a primary key constraint called Test1PK using the Col1 column. We describe the Test1 table and we see the Col1 and Col2 columns. The user constraints view shows us the constraint name is test1pk. The user end columns view shows us the index name is test1pk and the indexed column is col1. Let's start renaming objects. We rename the table using alter table test1 rename to test. Now we've renamed the table, all subsequent commands will reference the test table. We rename the columns using alter table test, rename column col1 to id, then alter table test, rename column col2 to description. We rename the constraint using alter table test, rename constraint test1pk to testpk. We rename the index using alter index test1pk, renamed to testpk. We describe the test table and we see the ID and description columns. The user constraints view shows us the constraint name is testpk. The user end columns view shows us the index name is testpk and the indexed column is ID. So we've successfully renamed the objects and the new names are reflected in the data dictionary. We would of course have to amend any code referencing the table and columns. We connect to a privileged user. We rename the users table space using alter table space users rename to users1. We then switch it back again. We could also rename the associated data files, but that's covered in another video linked below. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.